So, I come to you today not only to complain that the last 15 videos I've done had no sound to them. When you have something to say and you're angered and you're pissed off because certain things are allowed to be done and said with no provocation actions need to be taken like I said earlier I have a lot of different people watch my show and not every one of these people are the same I got whites I got blacks I got Asians I got kids I got elderly people I got supremacists, I got extremists, I got people from every walk of the human, I got riots on TV, I got every kind of people, all kinds watch my show, and everybody watch my show for a different reason, I say anything I want to say, I go from this range to that range. I don't bash one race of people. I bash those who keep us in captivity. I bash the top 5%. I bash those who believe they sit on Mount Olympus and guide us around. They're not getting my praise. They might as well just bring the crack in. Oh, they already brought the crack in. I'm sorry my bad so let me get on back on point I do complain about the the elite I complain about the puppet masters I complain about those who control how you and I both think but yet and still I get complaints from people like you people who can't understand me they complain about me and want to hate on me say they're going to kill me do things to me because it wasn't until I pointed out something that my friends were telling me that's when people want to kill me so I'm going to break it down for those who have never understood why people want to kill me and I'm gonna tell you why and I'm gonna tell you why for the very last time I remember once I grabbed a piece of paper and that video is called the great or well, the white power outage watch that video it's one of the pieces to the puzzle of kill AIX thing all that shit when people wanna to, wanna to take me out because of what I'm saying and if what I'm saying means something to these people it's pitiful what I'm saying if what I'm saying that much close to the real truth yeah. is pitiful you have a good day at work son don't let them bring you down baby come on boy so I'm going to explain it to you the dog is sitting on Yes, sir. Lock, lock yourself out, huh? Right back. Yes, sir. Drive safe. So listen, I point out the fact that, okay, I love you too, man. How's the dog? He's on my back. Yes, sir. Uh, no, I wouldn't give your jacket to nobody. I gave it to you. All right, see you soon. Dog is back on my back. So, um, this is it. This is this this is why people get angry with me. This is why 
they hate on me this is why they don't like me and every time I try to point this out I always gotta show you with a prop so I said I'm just gonna use numbers I'm gonna throw a number out there and this number these numbers are not the correct numbers these are just simple representations so people can understand what I am saying now here in our society people have been divided upon race social economic status and other things you know hate and all that shit too that's different than you know, all that stuff so we've been divided everybody's got their own zone in space now this is the problem with a certain group of Americans there's a large group of Americans in this country who are not seen and they are not recognized when you see one you automatically jump to a conclusion the speculations are they always have something they're never broke and they they're the shit they're everything life is supposed to be the thing is that these people were taught to believe that they were better people but the reality of the matter is this if you go back throughout history there are more poor white people than rich white people there are more white people struggling in this country to have something than there are any other race of people struggling to have something now these people believe that you know they worked hard to build this country and, and they should reap the benefits of this country this is their birthright this is all set in beliefs for thousands of years black people have been enslaved on both sides of this world and for the last eight nine hundred years they were enslaved in America or what have you they were enslaved here so the training they gave us for six seven hundred years was to be subservient to them it's in our DNA to to look up to them to 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 need them for them to to somehow have something over us and they have this notion that they are chosen but the reality of the matter is that five percent of them make sure the other 95 percent of them don't have shit just like they make sure the rest of everybody else don't have anything these people believe that they're supposed to have something and there's a lot of these fucking people and then now they're made to believe that they are a minority that is the reason why they don't have what they should have because now there's too many of us taking their resources that's where the hate comes in and that top five percent is sitting there bullshit and laughing and let me break these bullshit numbers down for you because these are not the real numbers say for instance there's one thousand black people in the United States of America there's fifteen hundred Mexican people in the United States of America there's five hundred Asians and like another five hundred Cambodians and then another just say group of you know different you know races you know three four hundred Russians and you know so on and so forth but the American white person just say for instance there's ten thousand white people in all of America to one thousand black people fifteen hundred Mexicans and all these other numbers I'm saying and out of those ten thousand white people five hundred oh, two hundred of those white people don't have to worry about a damn thing in the planet on the world. If I just say 500 of them don't have to worry about a damn thing. And that's a high number. The numbers actually will be lower. See what I'm saying? So you have these other 9,500 white people that everybody is saying, oh, all the, they don't have to worry about nothing. They got jobs. They have this and they have that. And they have this and that. And they have that and that. And, that. and they don't. All these white people. The 9,500 are just a made-up number. All these white people are just as poor as all those blacks. 
all those Mexicans and all those other people. That's more people. There's more poor white people in America than any other race of people in this fucking country. And when I talk about that, it pisses white people off. And it only pisses those off at the top because they want it to be like that. They want these people to believe they're entitled so when the time comes for them to make a vote, they're voting for themselves. But it's still not working for them. See what I'm saying? The illusion of freedom. They get to see everybody else be free while they struggle for this country that they have worked so hard to build. There's a philosophy and a mentality built into their DNA just like it is for us to be subservient to those who kept us in captivity. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not hating white people. I'm hating the top of the totem pole for what they did to the poor ones to make those poor ones think they have to beat me down to keep what they got, which is no more than what I've already had my entire life. Nothing. Do you understand why people don't like me? Because I'm a black man. I should be, oh, help us out. The massa then pulls us down to the very, then and boil us down to just mud. Not just the blacks. Not just these brand new Mexicans. Because they, 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 say, they say Mexicans outlive whites and blacks. It's because they haven't had to eat our bullshit long enough. They haven't... They haven't lost their ways. They haven't picked up the chemicals and decided to kill themselves like the whites and the blacks have. They are fresh to the bullshit. And when they get tired of it, it's going to be just like us. Another group of people in this country hurting and starving and, and, and trying to squeeze nothing out of nothing for something back to feeding kids dirt just to have something in their stomach and it's all going to start with white people the only way any of this will change is if these poor white people get off the fucking high horse and start walking in the valleys with the poor blacks and the poor Mexicans because not until all of the people without getting together all the people without will never have and it starts with the group that's bigger than all groups the biggest number of poor people the ones that walk amongst us and no one can see them because huh, it's a fucking white man he got a job he got some money but in my town I see poor white people I know what a poor white man looks like he looks just like a poor black man and he smells just like a poor Mexican. He ain't got no more and no less than the rest of us. And America can't see that. That is the biggest shame of America. Not the fact that you enslaved those in which you, you needed to help build whatever you so call this great majesty, the U.S. You're worse than your worst nightmare because you forgot not to do for your people but to do right by the mistakes you've made and the biggest mistake you've made was giving false belief to a bunch of people you never were going to take care of in the first place in other words we got to start somewhere we got to fool somebody we have to learn how to trick those with less than we have to get what we need. And it worked. And now as all these white people are laid waste to the same country in which they call themselves constructing and building, all of us poor people need to get together because they still stand on Mount Olympus and they still shit and it still rains down on us and we fight for every crumb they throw off the top of the hill and we're all in the same barrel and we all work for the same masters and we're all enslaved and if you can't see it then you're gonna wanna kill me every fucking day cause I'm gonna tell you what you did wrong and you've been too.